Okay, so boom, I'm not here for Stefan Clark at all. I'm not here for Stefan. I'm not here for Stefan Clark. And for those that don't know, just to refresh your memory, Stefan Clark was shot 20 times by the police in his grandmother's backyard. The police claim by two officers, I believe. One was black, one was white. They unloaded their guns into him. He was shot 20 times by a police officer in his grandmother's backyard because they said that he had a gun. Turns out the gun was a cell phone. That is not why I'm not giving my, Stephon Clark my protection. I'm not protecting him. I feel bad for his grandmother. I feel bad for his, his child or his children, his children. But this man, this man spent most of his time disrespecting black women. This man spent most of his time choosing what non-black woman that was going to have his child exactly shelby all these is exotics they could go protest for him where is his asian woman that he had the child with so 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 zoe woods on on twitter is stefan clark's twitter page somebody did some investigations and found out that most of his rhetoric was anti-black and anti-black woman anything but a dark bitch all my all my females exotic this is why i wanted a child with an asian woman so i could have some asian food this is what i mean by if you don't give protection you don't get protection and this goes for black women too and i'm dead serious about that shit i am dead serious about that shit i'm not fighting for you until after i check your fucking social media page and see what the fuck you talking about. Because you damn sure wouldn't fight for me with your black ass. If the same thing were to happen to me, it would be anything but a black bitch, right? If it was the same thing that happened to another black woman, it would be anything but a dark bitch, right? Stefan can go fuck himself. And I, now I know that sounds real harsh, right? Fuck him. I'm tired of Negroes, I'm tired of bootlickers. We understand the phrase all skin folk and kin folk, but we don't know the application of it. Well, I'm applying the motherfucker right now. I'm applying it right now. I'm tired of fighting for people who don't give a damn about me. I will not fight for you if you don't have a loyalty to black people. This man sat up on his Twitter page, y'all, and said, he sat up on his Twitter page and said, well, I'm black. Why do I need to have a baby with a black woman? I'm black enough already. Now I'm about to go into this little house right here and probably get banned off social media again. Motherfucker, if you don't get your ass Learn how to drive, bitch. Get that one eye working. God damn. I don't know. Every time somebody, try, every time they was trying to watch my videos on on YouTube, it wasn't showing up. My my, they they shadow banned the fuck out of me. But that's cool, cause I'm gonna stay on your radios. I'm gonna stay on your goddamn radio, and then I'm gonna go on your TV shows, and I'm gonna fuck you up with these books. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Can't block God. You can't fucking block Ogun. Can't block Oshun. The fuck? Now, Stefan Clark. Now, this take this as a... And now, now, we got to be real serious about this, too. Yes, Jonathan, he canceled himself. He canceled himself. I ain't do it. Now, people think that this shit is a game. People really, they like I said, we understand the term all skin folk ain't kin folk, right? We get that, but we don't understand the application and we don't understand really what that means. It means if you don't have a loyalty to black people, black people should not have a loyalty to you. 
If you want to go up and, 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 and get into the political spheres and you want to go ahead and do all of this, but you don't represent the people, you don't give a damn about the struggle, the struggle don't give a damn about you. Period. This is not saying that, oh my gosh, look at this, oh, the one thing I hate is just Easter weekend. Somebody, somebody put a cross up on the light post, they put a cross on the light post and this woman carrying all these fucking groceries stopped, put her groceries down to kiss it. This is what we're dealing with. See, we're so used to, we're so used to worshiping men who died. As long as they say they died for us or for our cause, we will stop, drop everything, and fucking kiss their goddamn feet. Even though they do nothing for us, we'll stop, drop everything, and kiss their fucking feet. I wish the fuck I would. I wish the fuck I would got me fucked up you got me fucked up I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm not and you know what's interesting too y'all I have just not been I've not been talking about a lot of the current events because I'm watching I've, I've been choosing to, to to shut up and not speak I've been choosing to listen more than I'm speaking and I'm what I'm seeing is horrific what I'm seeing is absolutely horrific and it's and it's satisfying the immediacy, that immediate outrage. We live this millennial generation, right? And just to be perfectly clear, millennials are in between the ages of 22 and 38 years old, right? So from 1980 to 19 to, to 1995, we are millennials, and what I like to call the crack baby generation. So I was having a discussion with Nicole and um, of course Chris and. Um, we were talking about it, and I've come to this conclusion that the crack, berry, the crack baby millennial generation, right, we have, we were raised in part by stuff and things. Crack generation took us out. Uh, uh, Reaganomics took us, uh, took our parents out, rather. We had so many different things involved in us growing up that were TV, movies, music, internet, all that good stuff. That's that's primarily who raised us. And in return, we were given stuff and things. And it's created this instant gratification. It's created this instant, oh, I need my uh, um, emotions fulfilled instantly. My needs, my desires. I need my food instantly. I need my love instantly. I need my fuck instantly. I, I, there's no patience. There's no longevity. So when we have these reactionary revolts, which are not sustainable. Revolts are not sustainable. Revolts are not revolution. You got that fucking twisted, bent up, and tied in a knot. A revolt is not going to, no. Because it satisfies that instantaneous need. So now we are satisfied with being mad. We satisfied with doing a video. We satisfied with a fucking post. We're satisfied. And it ain't doing a motherfucking thing. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be cursing. I'm saved and sanctified. How excellent. We have no organization. We have no organization. To the point where I made a video just now on, on YouTube and I already know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to get um, banned or I'll get enough, uh, get fucking 30,000 people in Chicago angry at me again. Mad because I'm telling them the truth about their saviors. I'm going to get backlash from black men. I'm going to get called a bed wench, a dick pander by the, uh, oh no, not a dick pander. Not this time. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to get called a bed wench, a feminazi. Because I don't protect people who don't give a fuck about me. It's time that we draw a line. It's time that we draw a very heavy line.
but uh, but even then uh ran it doesn't even feel like a victory it doesn't even feel like a victory there's nothing victorious about um having to say the same thing over and over again you know what i mean he didn't do nothing why did you kill him and i'm watching i'm watching his grandmother scream and cry because her heart is broken they killed her grandbaby they killed her grandson while she was there and there was nothing she could do about it and she's sitting there asking the same questions why 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 but instead of the people the very men who should be protecting her they talking about this is why i love asian women they talking about, it's just my preference. Well, my preference, nigga, is to ignore your fucking death. I, my preference, nigga, is to pay you fucking dust. That's my preference. The same men who think that they understand what's going on. The same men who are mad about police brutality are trying to find black power and pink pussy.